Hi, I'm going to walk you through how to search for a GitLab issue. So the issue we're going to search for is uh, this test issue here that's part of this training. So I have GitLab pulled up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for this by searching for the text text searching for the text test issue. So what I'm going to do is go to this uh, search bar here at the top and I'm going to type in test issue. And um, there are, as you can see, a lot of projects and a lot of issues where test issue is used. So I'll just click on this so you can see what happens, but it will give you a 500, 500 error because there are just too many to search through to be able to pull a list of them. Um, it's loading a little bit slowly, but it should give us a 500 error. You can tell there's a lot for it to search through because it's taking a while. Okay, so 500 error. It basically timed out because there was too much um, to search through. So what we'll do is narrow it down to um, like the group that it's in or the project or both. So you're like, you may be looking or have seen this issue and you're like, I have no idea what group or project it's in. You can find that by looking at this issue. So you can see here, people group, that's the group that it's in. And then the project is GitLab tool training. Also, if you have access to the URL, you can see it in the URL. There's, um, it's on the gitlab.com project. Sub project is people group. And then GitLab tool training is uh, the project. So what we'll do is go over here and in group, we will filter this down to people group. And just make sure that you don't get any of the, like this one is people group slash div. This one's people group slash learning and development. You just want plain people group. Because there can be additional subgroups under uh, the main group, but we're just looking for people group. And then you can see it narrows down the issues, merge requests, and things that have test issue in them. So we could pull this up and you can see what it looks like here. Um, but if we want to narrow it down even further to the exact project that this is this issue is in, we need to add GitLab tool training. So we'll go over here to project and type in GitLab. Okay, and it pops up right here, GitLab tool training. So I'll add this. And now you can see it's narrowed down to 32 issues. And then you can scroll through and find, see here's GitLab 101 test issue. I can also, um, if I do test issue one, it will pull this up here. I need to go through and close some issues in that project because it looks like others have opened similar issues. So um, that's how you can search for an issue and uh, be able to find it. Uh, if you search just in issues, you may not be able to find it as easily. It'll probably give you that, um, uh, the timeout, the 500 error. But if you wanna search through it by going here, you can, I know that I opened this 101 or this, uh, test issue one. So I could do author is, and you could do this as well, author is JC Bander, and then do test issue, and then search. Okay, so now, uh, oh, it changed to assignee, that's why. So author is and then just hit enter. Okay, so here's the, the test issue one, test issue two. So you can see that they're pulling up here, but you just have to have more information than just 
uh, text that you're looking for, you have to know um, if you're searching from here, who the author is, who it's assigned to. Um, and then if you're searching from this universal search bar, um, you need to know like what group or project it's in to help narrow down the search to find the issue. So that's how you search for an issue.